7 p.m. in the office. Everybody left home. Only I and my boss. I walked towards my boss' office and knocked the door. Boss, can you spare me five minutes? I have some important discussion with you. As usual, my boss is busy looking at the PC without turning his head to me and say, come in and say. I walked towards him and spoke softly. Boss, I want to resign. What? <laughs> For the first time, my boss looked at me so attentively. After 10 seconds, my boss said, Brighton, you are not going to leave us. Friends, tonight I'm going to share with you my personal story. How I choose between dream and money. Yes, dream to me is my ambition. My ambition is to teach, teach in the university. I wanted to be a professor teaching the young, talented, pretty, handsome guy <laughs> from SIF, from NUS, from NTU. But I don't know why. I turned out to be an engineer. Every day, I'm dealing with all those very boring technical documents, drawing, and emotionless machines. After working for three years, I was too exhausted. I decided to quit, to change my track. So I applied for master study. And the opportunity knocked my door. I got the offer, some more scholarship. So I have my plan to start a new life to pursue my dream. After listening to all my story and plan, my boss said, Brighton, you're not going to leave us. I'm going to promote you soon. Three months later, I promised, and I told my boss, boss, this is not about the promotion or the money matter, it's about my dream. Then my boss said, Brighton, be realistic, don't be so childish, you know, the dream is something like a dreamy. Just imagine, three years later you are going to marry, and you have kids, you have no money to support your family, every day you are eating bread. How do you feel? Then I said, yeah, I know boss, I, I know the reality, but I want to continue. I want to realize my dream. Then my boss immediately took a pen and wrote the numbers on a piece of paper and said, Brighton, look at this number. I'm going to increase your salary by this number. I look at that number and hesitate for five seconds. Then I said, boss, it's not about the money. It's about my dream. Then my boss said, why don't like this? He erased the number and wrote another bigger number and showed me. <laughs> and look at the number again. This time, I hesitate for about 10 seconds and I said, Boss, this is not about the money matter. This is about my I haven't spoke out a dream. My boss stand up and said, Brighton, don't be too over. Go home, sleep on it, and get back to me tomorrow. Don't give me the answer now. So I left the room. When the time I stepped out of office, I was overwhelmed by the money minded. I, I could smell the money. I could imagine <laughs> how luxurious the life I would be getting if with all this salary increment. So I started to be confused. And once I reached home, I make a call and to share the story, to share the conversation with my parents. Then my mom said to me, Brighton. You're stupid. Just took the money. <laughs> and later on, my father said, Brighton, your mom is just kidding. I know you want your dream so, so hard. And this is something you are long, longing for. Just go follow your heart and pursue your dream. And I, and I got back to my parents and said, Mom, Dad, you know, if I go for my dream, you are not going to have your living allowance for at least two years. <laughs> then my dad and my mom said at the same time, say, stupid son, <laughs> we don't want a soulless ATM. We want a passionate, 
want something a happy son. Just go for your dream. And remember, this is not your dream. This is our dream. With that word, I was so moved and so motivated. I pursued my dream. I dropped the job. So for the next two years, be it a sunny day or a rainy day, I said this so hard. And in the year 2010, I graduated master. And have a guess, now I'm still an engineer. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, not, this is not the lesson of the story. So what I learned from this incident is, when there's a moment when we need to choose between the dream or the cash, the reality or the ideal, always remember the ultimate deciding factor is L-O-V.